Thank you for tuning in to the Riparian Restoration Equipment Demonstration brought to you by the Tamaris Coalition, Colorado Water Conservation Board, and the National Wild Turkey Federation. This video was shot during a heavy equipment demonstration on December 2, 2010 at the Horse Thief State Wildlife Area outside of Fruta, Colorado. This video will showcase six different machines with applications in woody tree removal, specifically tamarisk and Russian olive. The Tamarisk Coalition does not endorse one over the other. The intent of this video is to present some options for land managers to make informed decisions on how to best meet their need. This is just a small representation of the many machines that are available for this sort of work. In this video, we will explore the pros, cons, efficiency, and ideal applications of each of these machines. Barco 930 FAE-300U First up is the FAE-300U forestry mulcher attached to a Barco 930 industrial tractor, owned and operated by Dodd Diesel Equipment of Whitewater, Colorado. The FAE-300U is a fixed-tooth drum-style mulcher that weighs 5,800 pounds, is usable on hydraulic and PTO-driven machines, and is suitable for tractors with power outputs from 200 to 400 horsepower and hydraulic flows of 100 to 150 gallons per minute or PTO pressures of 3,500 to 5,000 pounds per square inch. Fixed tooth drum style heads use hardened carbide steel teeth that reduce trees and mulch all the way into the soil surface, eliminating stumps. The Barco 930 is a 30,000 pound forestry grade tractor. This machine has a maximum power output of 305 horsepower and powers attachments hydraulically with an output of 120 gallons per minute at 5,000 PSI. In flat terrain, this setup can clear up to five acres of dense mature tamarisk or Russian olive in a typical workday. This setup is most efficient at a site with relatively level terrain and dense stands of mature tamarisk or Russian olive. This machine is overkill on sparsely populated sites and lacks the selectivity of smaller machines when trying to avoid damage to native species. The next setup in our demonstration is a FECON FTX-90L forestry skid steer with a Tushog 6000HS mulching head. This machine is also owned and operated by Dodd Diesel Equipment. The Tushog is a 2,880-pound fixed-tooth drum-style mulcher for use on skid steers with a hydraulic head requiring a minimum flow of 30 gallons per minute and a maximum flow of 41 gallons per minute with a maximum hydraulic pressure of 3,800 PSI. The Fecon FTX-90L is a 90-horsepower forestry-grade skid steer with steel tracks, heavy-duty operator protection, and high-flow hydraulics. This machine weighs 11,650 pounds. The smaller scale of this machine allows for greater maneuverability and precision and is most efficient on sites with smaller diameter trees intermixed with desirable species. This machine is limited by steep banks and deep ravines. In ideal conditions, this machine can clear one to two acres of dense tamarisk and Russian olive per day. It is important to note that the FTX-90L is no longer produced and has been replaced by the FTX-100 model. Here is another skid steer driven mulching machine, but quite different than the previous one. Owned and operated by the Western Colorado Conservation Corps out of Grand Junction, Colorado. The driver of this setup is the ASV RC100 Forestry Skid Steer. This model weighs 9,200 pounds, comes with rubber tracks, a 100 horsepower diesel engine, and can push 38 gallons of hydraulic fluid per minute at 3,300 PSI. The mulching head is a timber axe made by Loftness. The Timber Axe is a replaceable knife drum style mulcher. This masticator differs from the other showcase as it uses knife blades instead of fixed teeth. The model that was used for this demonstration is the 63AX, which weighs in at 2,350 pounds and required hydraulic flows between 22 and 42 gallons per minute and 2,500 to 3,500 PSI. The ideal site for this setup is one with relatively flat terrain, 
medium to large sized trees, and healthy native ground cover communities. The Timberax ASV does a good job of clearing tamarisk and Russian olive without destroying desirable grasses and forb communities. In ideal conditions, this machine can clear 1.5 acres a day. Please note that the company ASV has been bought out by Terex, and the current equivalent of this tracked skid steer is the Terex PT100G Forestry. Operated by Tom Burton of Three Peaks Construction in Maybell, Colorado, this excavator pinches the tree at the base of the trunk and pulls it out of the ground, roots and all. This method is attractive because if done properly, there is little to no need for follow-up chemical control because there is no regrowth. This method is also very low impact because of the rubber tracks on the machine and the fact that the machine can clear a 40-foot diameter before having to reposition itself. Extraction works best on sites with sandy soils, with trees less than 15 feet in height, and trunks less than 8 inches in diameter. The CAT 307D is a 15,500 pound excavator with a 55 horsepower diesel engine and a maximum reach at ground level of 20.2 feet. The thumb attachment is readily available from equipment suppliers and is an integral component to this application. In ideal conditions, this machine can clear one and a half acres of dense tamarisk and Russian olive sands per day. This machine uses the same ASV RC100 skid steer as described in the timber rack segment, but mounted to a specialized grab and pull attachment called the Star Hill Jaws. This machine is attractive in its versatility as it has many applications beyond extracting trees. Smaller trees under 4 inches in diameter were easily uprooted, but the jaws struggled to gain enough grip against larger trees to extract the root ball. Even with good grip, the skid steer lacked the pulling power to unroot mid-sized trees. The jaws works well on sites with flat terrain and sandy soils with small trees. Given tamarisk and Russian olive's extensive rooting structure, the jaws will have a tough time uprooting trees bigger than 4 inches in diameter. This machine's advantage is its simple, reliable design and low cost. In ideal conditions, this machine can clear half an acre of dense tamarisk or Russian olive in a day. Here we have the Kubota KX80 excavator mated to a Torrent EX40 mulching head owned and operated by Stan Young. The KX80 is an 18,200 pound excavator with a 70 horsepower diesel engine and maximum reach diameter of 47 feet. The Torrent EX40 is a hydraulic fixed tooth drum style mulcher that weighs 1,000 pounds, has a cutting edge of 40 inches, and requires a minimum hydraulic flow of 25 gallons per minute. This style of machine works best on sites that have tamarisk or Russian olive growing intermixed with natives and along the banks of rivers, channels, or in hard to reach places. In ideal conditions, this setup is capable of clearing up to two acres of dense stands per day. That completes the Riparian Restoration Equipment Demonstration. Please contact Bill Cooper at the Tamaris Coalition with questions or comments at 970-256-7400 or wcooper at tamariscoalition.org. Thanks for watching.